Hello, I'm the Welsh Gamer, and today I'm doing a how-to video of how I do this avatar intro. So just to show you how I personally do these little intros with my avatar using a PC, software called Live, and SteamVR, OBS, and a couple of little tools. So I hope you like this video, and I'll show you how these little intros are quite easy to do. So let's get into it. So. Personally, I use Ready Player Me to create my avatar. So it takes a photo of yourself and then you upload it to the website and then it just creates your avatar for you and then you can edit it. Once you've done that, you can just edit everything, all your little avatars and everything on the website. So once you get into the website, edit everything here. So from how you look, your face, your hair, you can just change anything you want. Or I make an intro video, I generally look for the outfit or maybe something will match the game I'm playing, what you want in here, and then you, which, which looks pretty cool. And then as soon as you've done that, you basically you save it. And the quickest way I find to upload it to live is you just download the file as a GLB file. Once you've got that file on your computer, all you do is you just drag and drop it directly into the live software when you're loading up your capture. And then that will show up in the bottom of your avatars when you're directly in live. So before you get to this point, what I do is I use a virtual desktop to your PC. You can also use AirLink. I start up Live, which is a free program in Steam. And then you start up uh, Steam VR, and this is where, where we are. This is just the Steam VR version. It doesn't really matter where you do it because all you're recording is your avatar here. So once you have imported your avatar into Live, here are all the ones that I currently have here. So th this is all the ones that I added previously. On the left hand side is where you can change some settings. So if you wanted to get rid of your legs and you can also get rid of your head. I don't know why you'd want to get rid of your head, but there you go. So there's some settings on there and you calibrate everything on the right hand side. To actually record my avatar video, this blue star at the back is what the screen is actually viewing. So that's what I can actually see. So when I'm recording the OBS, this is what I'm actually seeing. This one is the camera. So this is camera number one. I've currently got it on selfie. So that's my selfie camera. So I can just move that anywhere I want. And then you can do that. And then you can also zoom in, zoom out. And yeah, it's pretty fluent. You, you can do pretty much anything you want to it in here. So you start recording on OBS. You put your headset on. You do everything here. And that's pretty much it. It's as simple as that. So when you're recording in OBS for your avatar intro. So what I normally do is I have the game capture which would be the live window. You make that transparent, which then gives you your avatar picture on top. And then you can add anything behind. So if you want to add a still image or a video, you can add something behind yourself. And then when you record the avatar, it's just as you see at the start of the, this video. It's as easy as that. So the other settings in live, you've got the camera one, which I've currently got it on selfie for my avatar. When you're playing games, it's normally third person. Whoa, that's awesome. How do you like that? We've also got a second camera, which is over here. Then you can change that to anything you want as well. You can like change stuff around in there. And then when you go on OBS, you, you could literally have two viewpoints if you wanted to. So yeah, there's loads of stuff you can do in here. And you can even change the viewfinder. So my viewfinder at the moment is in the world. You could have it on your wrist, which is a bit weird. You can have it connected to your HUD, or you can just have it on the camera. 